uh, gun violence, defunding the police. I have a big issue with that. I am concerned for myself, my children, my grandchildren. I'm a New York girl. I went into the city for work, for play, for theater, for restaurants. I am afraid for my life now. And reading the headlines yesterday in the New York incident that happened where a woman nonchalantly came out of her car, walked over to someone maybe eight feet from her, another woman, and shot her in cold blood in the head. She died. I fear for my life. These are scary times. Ivy, you're 100% right. Uh, Nancy, let's switch it up. You say tourism is better this summer, but there's really one thing that's holding us back. What is it? Unfortunately, many of the small businesses that cater to tourism have had difficulty getting people to work. And that's because there's really not a lot of incentive to return to work because of the more than generous unemployment benefits. This isn't a talking point. This is real life. Businesses are actually experiencing this. And along those lines, Mike, you say businesses can't find supplies. What are you seeing out there? Can't find supplies, raw materials, plastics. Uh, there's a car dealership across the street from my business, and they're out of cars. They have no cars. They can't get chips, uh, like I said, plastics, or we deal with raw, some raw materials, chemicals. Can't get plastic drums, can't get the raw materials. Prices of chemicals going up, everything's going up sky high. Welcome inflation. Um, now let's talk wokeness with John. John, what is it doing to our country? Wokeness is simply dumbing down the American children and also you American adults. It is the way of a minority, a small group of tiny little people who think that they know better than the majority. You, Everybody in this room is a good American. Nobody's following that particular line. I personally believe that if we continue to dumb down America and our children, we will get the benefit of the, the uh, of negativism like we've never seen before. John, thank you very much. Pete, Will, and Ashley, back to you.